Observatory. This is Steve Smith, and we are now on our final process for our RGB image. Doesn't mean the final process for the entire image, because when we're done with the RGB image, we have to combine it with the final lumen image we made earlier. So we end up with a single LRGB image. And at that point, then we start to dig into the details and really try and pull out um, some subtle things the best we can using some tools in PixInsight. And we'll also head over to Photoshop. But for right now, we're going to open up the last image in our RGB folder that we did, and that's the um, noise exterminator image, step five in our process for RGB. There we have it. And now uh, it's time to do the stretch to bring out the contrast, reduce the background sky, all that kind of green noisiness back there we want to get rid of. This is the same process that we did. It was the last step in the lumen processing uh, work that we did. The last step was uh, applying histogram transformation for this. So uh, again, what we're looking at is not what the data actually is in the image. This is PixInsight's kind of auto stretch. So we're going to turn the auto stretch off. We come all the way over here to this icon here. And the, um, the subheading for that is enable disable screen transfer function. And so screen transfer function is just um, PixInsight's, one of PixInsight's tool to, to stretch the image so we see, can see some contrast. Without that on, that is the actual data we have. I see two stars in this image. So all that other stuff that we just saw, and I'll put it back up, all that other stuff that we just saw, we want to pull out, but we want to pull out without having all this gunky mess behind it. Okay, so we're going to um, put it into, its act into the actual data. So this is what we actually have. We're going to go up under process, all processes, histogram transformation. And if you remember this from the Lumen, what we're going to do is a series of iterations where we reset the histogram transformation tool and use a what's called a real-time preview window. And so we're going to reset the tool. We're going to click this check mark. We only have to do this once. This puts track view on these two graphs up here. And what it'll show us, it'll actually show us where the data is. And as you can see, the data is way, way over um, on the right hand, uh, excuse me, on the left hand side, mainly because our image is almost completely black. Again, we have three sliders. Um, over here on the left side of this graph, we have um, our shadows uh, slider. That's for the, the areas that are really dark, which is most of it. That's why we see the data here. The middle slider, midtones, and then the slider way over here on the right is highlights. And we don't touch this slider. We mainly use the midtone slider. And as we get closer to the end of the iterations that we're going to do, we'll start to work a little bit with the shadow slider. But to start out, we're going to use just midtones. Um, we've reset the tool. We've got the track tracking on. And now the real-time preview, which is this um, circle, blue circle. We're going to click that open. And you can see that it filled with yellow now. So we know that we have that we're working with this image. So this is essentially a copy of our image that we're working with, um, but it's not the image, it's just a copy, and we can slide things around and see what happens here. So we're gonna slide the midtone over quite a bit to the left. And what this is doing is it's saying, like the values that are in the midtones that are kind of darker, we want them to be lighter. We wanna be able to see them. So we can see maybe barely a couple stars pop out a little bit. I'm gonna go about maybe that far. We're gonna close the preview window and apply by uh, using the new instance triangle and just drag that, drag and drop it over our image. We can see just a very, very slight difference. Not much difference, but still a difference. Come back to histogram transformation. Reset the tool. Uh, track view is always on. Um, once we check it once, we don't have to do it again. Again, we can see that most of our data is way over in the black area in the shadow area. We're going to hit real-time preview. Fill that blue circle in with yellow. Here's our real-time preview. Drag the midtone slider again over to the left. We're starting to see a little bit of the galaxy. Close the preview apply this histogram transformation to the image. 
There we go. We're starting to see a little bit. Remember to reset the tool. Open the real time preview. Slide again the midtones over a bit. We want to be a little careful. We don't want to go way over into, into uh, where we can see a lot. We want to make sure it's better to do more iterations and be careful. Uh, with how you're doing the iterations and to try and do them all in one or two iterations. It's not going to work well. You can also see on the top graph that we're starting to move the data into the area where we can actually see it. So that's kind of nice. All right, so we've got that set. Close the real-time preview. Boom. Apply. There we have it. Now you can see we're really kind of getting over uh, into the range where we can see some data. Go ahead and reset the tool, preview window, I continue to drag this over. And we do have some room to work with the shadow slider, but I think I'm going to wait and um, apply this iteration first. So real time preview, apply, boom, reset and bring this over. I can start to see where there's some data that's starting to pop up right about in this area on the graph. And so we don't want to go into that, but we'll go over a little closer here. And again, you can see that the whole image gets lighter with um, as we move the midtone slider over to the left. Now we're going to deal with the background and we're going to slide this over. And the one thing I forgot to do is do a real-time preview window where we weren't actually seeing any changes. So here we go. I'm going to slide this over. You can see the image getting lighter. I don't want to get into this data here. And I'm going to now use the shadow slider over here on the left to bring down the background. That's looking a little better. Again, I don't want to go into the data. Maybe not quite yet. And we're going to close the preview. Apply. It's getting better. We can now start to see on the top graph um, that the data is starting to get it spread out. And the reason we see three different lines here is there are three different lines, one for each color. So there's a red, green, and blue line up here. And they're kind of overlapped here. The curve in the bottom graph here, the data is kind of overlapped. So um, it's kind of hard to see that there's a separation, but there's actually three lines in the bottom graph as well. They're just overlapping. This, they're a little bit more spread out in different areas so we can really see that we do have um, RGB data here. We're going to reset the tool. We're going to open the preview window. And we're going to move this over a bit more. Starting to get a little bright. Slide the shadows. And we do have to wait. What's, what's interesting, you have to find the sweet, sweet spot. We've got the, the regular cursor, which is the slanted arrow. And then when you kind of get over one of the sliders, you get this completely upward arrow. And so make sure that that's what you're grabbing. And we'll bring this over a bit more. And I think that's pretty good. We'll close that. Pop it in getting brighter, but we still have some background to deal with. We're going to reset the tool, open the real time preview, and I still want to get rid of a little of this. So I might start, I'm not sure I really want to get this brighter. Let me just see what this does. Yeah, I don't think I want to do a whole lot there. Maybe just a slight bit. And then we're going to bring this over just into a little bit where the curve starts. I don't want to, I don't want to go way over here because then we really start clipping data as you see, and we start not seeing much. But I'll go a little bit in here. Again, we're going to get, we're going to still be able to deal with um, some more of this background uh, later on if we're not happy with it. But this is starting to look pretty nice. And I think this is going to be the last iteration that I do. So we're going to close this, apply, boom, there we go. And we are going to save this image. This is going to be the last thing that we do. And so for our processing, so this is step six, and we're going to change NXT to HT, uh, histogram transformation, we're done. And so we started with just making a master RGB. We applied automatic background extraction. We did color calibration, spectrophotometric color calibration, blur exterminator, noise exterminator, and now we've done our actual stretch. 
And we know that we've done the stretch that this is actual data because we do not have the identifier tab underlined in green. This is the actual data that we have that we're going to be working with. So that's histogram transformation for the RGB uh, image that we have. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to combine this with our Lumen image. And then we start digging into the weeds. This is Steve Smith of the Spark Observatory. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.